Hey there and welcome to Puppy Power Art. So today I'm going to show you a video of a recent uh, crystal growing experiment that I tried. So for this experiment I didn't use any kind of a recipe, I just basically mixed uh, some materials together to kind of play around with the solids and see what I could create. Um, and so the f uh, five different solids that I used were baking soda, Epsom salt, washing soda, borax, and powdered alum, or alum, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. And so I did the same process for each different mixture. First I made these little spiral shapes out of uh, chenille pipe cleaners, and then I attached them to a chopstick. You could also use um, a pencil or any kind of uh, long, thin utensil. Um, and so I used string to attach these, and these were so that I could submerge them in the cup and have them um, fully submerged overnight so the crystals could attach to the pipe cleaner and grow from there. And so after I'd made five of these, I began mixing my solution. So first I labeled each cup um, with each different solution, and the first one I did was the baking soda, so I brought my water to a boil, and then I mixed in uh, baking soda with the water in the cup until no more baking soda would dissolve, uh, making it a super saturated solution. And um, after that, I added the food coloring and mixed it together. And then I submerged my little pipe cleaner shape in the water and set it out to sit overnight so that the crystals could have about 24 hours to grow. And basically, I just did this again for the Epsom salt for the washing soda, the borax, and the powdered alum. And um, so I had them sit out overnight. And one thing I noticed that was very interesting was that the washing soda solution turned a brownish purplish color, uh, pretty much like within seconds of me mixing the water and the soda together. So I thought that was very interesting. So after each solution was allowed 24 hours to cool and set up, I checked on my little crystals and so for the first one the baking soda I had a very interesting like snowflake kind of growth almost that was hanging off of one side which I thought was interesting um, it was almost slightly detached but like still there so it's kind of weird how that happened um, it also had these like um, filament kind of growths coming off of it along with a general like layer of baking soda crystal growth all around the pipe cleaner. The next one I did was the Epsom salt. This one did not have any growth um, or any kind of crystal development of any kind on it. Third was the washing soda, um, which it stayed that brownish purplish color, which I thought was interesting, but there was no crystal growth on the pipe cleaners. Fourth was the borax, and this one had a fair amount of crystal growth on it. Uh, it also took up the color, the food coloring. Um, but there was a very, uh, just large general amount of crystal growth all around the pipe cleaner, so I thought that was very interesting. I thought it was a very beautiful crystal growth, and um, so that was very interesting. I had a lot of success with that, with that one, I think. And last but not least was the alum crystals, which I think these were probably my favorite. Um, I was very pleasantly surprised uh, because when I checked on them overnight, I didn't see anything growing, and so I was afraid I wasn't going to get any crystals with this one, but I ended up getting a huge seed crystal along with some other smaller seed crystals. And my biggest seed crystal looks like it's about um, a half an inch in diameter. Um, very cool, very, very beautiful. It didn't, interestingly enough, it didn't take up any of the food color. So it's a clear crystal even though the solution was green. But um, it's still very beautiful and I'm very excited about this growth and I think I might try to use it uh, to grow larger crystals off of. Um, and if I do that I'll probably make a video about it so you can watch that process. But I really thought that was very exciting. So that's um, all of my little experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I encourage you guys to try this for yourself and see what you get. Let me know what kind of results you get and if anybody knows uh, why the washing soda solution changes color that'd be interesting. 
Um, and also, if you have any other crystal growing recipes or different ways to grow crystals at home, then please feel free to let me know. That would be very interesting. Um, as an artist, I love using any kind of material or medium that I can create myself in my art, so I will be excited to try and find a use for these crystals in my art. I have thought about possibly making jewelry out of the alum crystals, um, since they are water soluble. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching!